All right, we're talking about tumors. Tumors often start as a very innocuous growth that does not seem dangerous. But as you can see here, you get a flat mass like this. And this, is, by the way, is the rectum. It's the very end of your intestinal system. This flat mass, if it grows, can completely block off the path the stool has to pass through in order to get out. It can also bleed. So this cancer, obviously, has to be surgically removed. But sometimes it's too late. Cancer cells can slip into the bloodstream where they're growing through the wall, and they can set up shop in distant organs, way away from the rectum. Cancers can also get very greedy. They can outrun their supply lines. Remember, they're asocial beings. These tumors die. They kill themselves. And that's why sometimes patients live through what seems incurable at first glance. Now, in this slide, you see a very good shot of that, because this is a liver, the brown tissue here, and this is where the bile would flow out. These white specks, these white blotches, aren't supposed to be there. This is cancer. But you'll notice these are red. They're vascular. This area is blanched. It's white. Why? It outgrew its blood supply. It's dying. And that's an important lesson for us, because one of the ways we're going to learn how to kill cancers is to figure out what it is about these cancers that allow them to keep the blood supply with them, and what it is we can do to make them die like this. Because no matter how bad the cancer is, and we've known this for decades, some people still survive. Now, a lot of patients say, and their families feel the same way, I have an incurable tumor. But that's not true ever. Some patients will always survive their tumor. And we have always focused on the patients who did not survive. We need to think more about the ones who lived. What made them special? What did they change that allowed them to survive? And oftentimes, it's their natural immunity. Remember, we all have cells in our bodies right now that aren't normal. They're not getting along. They're either precancerous, and sometimes they're really cancer cells. But our immune system finds these stealth cells that are hiding in the deep crevices of our body, and it knocks them out. It kills them. What we have to learn is to how to get that system reinvigorated, how to get our immune system to catch up to those early cancer cells, even if they become late cancer cells. These are the kinds of hints we're looking for in future investigation.